Well, hi guys, Mick Price here. Uh, we're at Warwick Farm Racecourse here, beautiful historical Warwick Farm. We've got William Ingalls Complex over the back there, which is magnificent. You've got to come out here and just have a look at uh, what they've done. It's really fantastic for the horses and everyone involved. And you've got a little winning post over here at Warwick Farm where we've bought lot 232, which is the Hinton Brook uh, out of a Zabil mare, out of a Dane Hill mare, out of a Centaine mare, out of a Sir Tristram mare. So got the grouse pedigree on it, a uh, real spunk little filly. Uh, she's robust, uh, tough type, got a bit of attitude. Uh, I like the Hinch and Brooks and clearly for Blue Blood uh, we should have won the Phillies division of the Blue Diamond Prelude with Seabrook. So I think he's a stallion on the up. I think this horse has been really well mated. The 3x3 three three cross of Danehill in the pedigree has actually been pretty successful. Uh, you'll see beat the clock bred nearly the same way. Uh, just got beaten in group one the other day. Uh, but the main thing is, look, I'm a trainer and I need to see the right horse. Uh, this is the right type of horse. Uh, they've got a $2 million uh, William English race here this time next year. And just over my right shoulder, someone's going to win, uh, be the winner of that race. Now, this Hinchinbrook filly, to me, it looks like it'll make a two-year-old. Knitted up in the knees, very powerful, uh, very powerful hind quarter. Uh, we'll be breaking it in straight away, uh, give it a preparation which should allow it to be some sort of two-year-old. Uh, she's got depth in the pedigree, she's got physical strength about her, uh, strong, good forward, bold sort of filly. I love those sort of fillies that, um, you know, over the week they still show as much energy as day one, because a lot of these babies get tired, but she's not, she's actually, feisty sort of a filly which uh, we really like but uh, I think she's been really well purchased and can't wait to get hold of her so call Carol and um, have a look at her I'm sure you'll like her